everybody thinks the tough guys win in boxing. It's the smart guys who win. It's going to be who's mentally toughest and who's mentally prepared properly for this fight. I'm sure they both want it, and it's going to be who's going to land the big punch first. These are fights that get me motivated to, to get out of bed and train to run this five to six miles. You get up, do the sparring, get mentally, physically right. Monday and I have sparred in the past. Uh, we've done a few rounds. It didn't go very well because we had photographers there and they took photos and I didn't realise what they were going to put in the paper and uh, he wasn't very happy about it. He's always angry about something. I just gave it my all on that day and he wasn't too thrilled. We sparred once, like years back, and they were raving on about it. A sparring is sparring, man. Anyone can do good in sparring. You know what I mean? This is a fight, this is when it's lights, camera, action. And you know, I'm about that action, so. We saw when Manny Pacquiao came out how, you know, how much Brisbane was buzzing and it was unbelievable. And now that we've got two Australians fighting, it's a little bit of state of origin in this fight. And to have Jeff Horn and, and Chuck Mundine come together uh, in Brisbane at, I believe, the best venue in the world in Suncorp Stadium is something that people of Brisbane should be proud of. And personally, I can't wait. It feels awesome fighting in front of a Brisbane crowd. Brisbane's pumping at the moment. Uh, the energy that they give off is just absolutely amazing and hopefully we'll be able to have that full effect again. I love Queensland. If I could adopt the state, it would be Queensland. But, you know, obviously I was born in New South Wales, so... I think with Jeff, I think he has to win if he's going to, you know, move on and try and get another title. If I think, you know, this is his future, everything's on the line, and, you know, he's fighting at home. Uh, a lot of pressure, but, you know, he's been here before, he's done it. Yeah, what's at stake for me in this fight is, is my career. Mundine saying he wants to end it, he wants to cut me out like a watermelon. They're hoping no cuts happen, but it would definitely be a big, big hit to the career if I was to lose against Anthony Mundine. His career's at stake. That's the it, it's over. It's done. I'm not expected, but I'm a huge underdog, so nothing's really at stake for me. I'm just out to prove that I'm the best. So he can't beat me, period. He ain't got the skills that I got. He ain't possessed the feet I got. And I want to prove every way, shape, or form that he ain't in my league, and that's it. Well, my legacy's already there. I've already cemented my place in history. His legacy's barely got off the ground. I'm gonna close that, put that to an end. I'm the best ever, man. Name somebody else that's walked my walk and done what I've done. He's definitely not the Ali that he says he is, but look, he has done some great things in the sport, caused some huge upsets. To do this at the age of 43, even to be competitive is an amazing accomplishment by Anthony Mundine. And I take my hat off to him. Jeff's got something special. He's got this amazing determination, this amazing fitness, and this amazing will to win. And um, it's a great story uh, to do what he done from where he come from so late in his career. Jeff Horn is um, one tough guy. The feeling those guys are going to feel when they walk out, especially at night time under the lights, look, it's a feeling you can't describe to fight in front of all these Queenslanders who are just passionate about any type of support. Um, it's going to be a real spectacle. It will definitely be a home crowd for me rather than Mundine. He's hated probably more than he's loved, but he's, he's a great fighter and uh, it's going to be a good show there on the day. The crowd's going to swing. The crowd will swing. The, the more I beat him up round by round, the more that the crowd will favour me. I think what those guys do is unbelievable, you know, to go through 12 rounds, especially for a world title, and to see them not even gassed after, it just shows the level that they're at. I've seen Chuck train, I've seen Jeff train, but it blows you away how, much, how many rounds they do and all the running they do, and it just gives you an indication how much they dedicate themselves and how hard the training's got to be for them to be successful. I've been pushing the body extremely hard, as hard as it can kind of be pushed. Everything's hurting, but uh, it's all going to pay off. Mundine's a very strong defensive fighter. He's very good at counter fighting. Uh, he's good at that shoulder roll. He's tough, he's awkward, he's unconventional, he's a hard worker, he believes. When he realises he's just not on my level skill wise, it's going to be a long night. This boy's in trouble, man. Good luck to him. What's on the line for the winner of this fight? It's ego. It's, it's your name on the line in boxing. Getting your hand raised is everything. It's going to be who executes the game plan the best and that will be the last man standing.